I need to add the others which is from the catalog my time picker value and hours so what we are actually doing is get the date from the date time picker the monthly calendar and we are going to add the time seconds as well as minutes from the other control which we had put up there now again you need to add the minute dialog my time picker value minute now we need to add the second add seconds dialog monthly calendar value second so the whole assignment is over now we noted the time now after noting the time let's make the visibility of this form to false so what we are trying to do is whenever the user clicks on this remind me later box this form pops up and we just note down the whole lot of values after the OK button is clicked we hide the box now this needs to be handled so if the dialogs show dialog method call the show dialog method of the dialog box if the result of that is an OK button we need to do the particular action so you just copy paste these two instructions over here like that all we need to do is add a timer controller into the form now the timer controller what it actually does is checks on each second whether we have reached the time where the remind me later has to be shown again so now we need to go to the toolbox add the timer controller to the form select timer controller enable the timer controller set the interval 1000 milliseconds which is a second double click the timer in order to add a timer tick event at every tick of the timer controller the value is executed the code over here will get executed if my reminded time when compared to now if is less than zero so what we are right now telling is if my reminder time is out set the visibility to true so this is actually all the logic that's needed to program the timer controller let's test it here we have the notes as you see let me type me hello world and welcome to forum code call tutorial click on remind me later now let's set the time a bit nearer let's set it 29 seconds there's a lot of requirements that you need to do to the application you can add a train notification icon and alarm functionality 
Also, you can write the my reminder time to a configuration file. So, whenever you restart the system to the application, can read from the configuration file and alert you that there's a sticky note that you knew the reminder. There we go. That's all for today. And yes, and users do need to know what needs to be written over here. So, what we need to do is go to the text write your note here thanks for watching my tutorial there's lot more goodies out in the forum come join us and you'll never regret thanks to James for motivating me to make this video for all the forum code call members see ya and keep watching for more tutorials on our youtube channel thank you